Uh, I greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Dear viewer, how are you? I hope uh, that the Lord has been good unto thee and that you are fine in the Lord. And uh, I would like to welcome you into this series and of 100 Days of Prayer. And today we are in day 51. Yeah? We have jumped into a new half of uh, um, the series of 100, 100 uh, days of prayer and our focus today is um, God's commitment God's commitment I think we have been speaking about our commitment to God and uh, today we would like to see which commitment uh, does God has unto us and our key text is comes from the book of Romans uh, Romans 5 verse 8 Romans 5 verse 8 before we read shall we have a word of prayer our kind and loving master in heaven, we thank you and we glorify thy name for great is thy faithfulness. Thank you for bringing us this far and thank you for the love that you have loved us with. As we focus in the scripture to see your love unto us, Father, we pray that may your Holy Spirit abide with us so that Jehovah God, he will, enable, he will uh, explain to us or interpret for, for us the scriptures. Thank you for being with my viewer. And thank you for giving him or her this opportunity to join in, uh, hands in this uh, program of 100 Days of Prayer. In Jesus' name we pray and give thanks. Amen. The Bible says in the book of Romans 5 verse 8, the book of Romans 5 verse 8, that uh, but God demonstrates his own love towards us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. I repeat, but God demonstrates his own love towards us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Dear viewer, as soon as there was sin, there was a savior. Christ knew that he would have to suffer, yet he became man's substitute. Remember, when God created, he was all-knowing. He knew that this situation that we are having in this world will happen. He knew that man that he created would betray him and would fall into sin. And that's why we usually see, and the spirit of prophecy tells us, that the plan of salvation was put way before even the foundations of the world were laid. And that's why we see that before even man sinned, Jesus had given himself. Jesus was set apart to be a substitute for man. Let me say this. <clears throat> when Adam and Eve sinned, it was God who, despite having been rejected and sinned against, took the first step towards humanity. The first initiative to bring humanity closer to God was, did not come from human. It came from God. And that's why we say even after Adam and Eve sinned, God came to visit them. He knew that these people has gone against or have done against my will. They have eaten the fruit that I said they should not eat. And they have rebelled against me. But he did not take that personal. He took an initiative to go to Adam and Eve. He took an initiative to go and redeem man. And that's where we, we see that he came with an attitude of grace. And when he came with the attitude of grace, the forgiveness was in his heart because he had already forgiven men, man. And with the promise that Jesus will crush the serpent, uh, the serpent in the head. Remember in the book of Genesis 3.15, God told the serpent, because you have, uh, 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 you have bitten the, the man's heels, there is his, her offspring or the offspring of Eve 
will knock or will hit your head. That, that mean, mean, meant that Jesus, who was to come from the lineage of Eve, would come to defeat the devil. And when Jesus came, he became the sacrifice for our salvation. Christ is still walking towards you with that same attitude. He is committed to you and your salvation. Remember, he did not, uh, God did not, yeah? God did not participate in our fall. By the way, the spirit of prophecy tells us that God sent even angels to go and warn Adam and Eve that the, the, the Lucifer has fallen and he will deceive them. But see, Satan commoffraged himself. He came in a, a, a form of serpent and deceived Eve and Eve was deceived. The same way that God warned of sin coming in the world. It is the same way that God is warning us and he is coming to us so that we can be saved. Christ came actually and died on our stead. We were supposed to die because the uh, Bible says the, um, the, the, the wages of sin is death. And because of this, sorry, because of this, we were supposed to, to die because we have sinned. All of us have sinned and fallen short of the glory of, of, of God. But God, through his love, sent his only begotten son to come and die on our stead. Today, focusing on that love, the question that I want you to ask yourself, and I want to leave this question to you, is that will you learn into his loving arms today and accept his cleansing blood and his righteousness? Because that is all what you need. You need to learn unto him, you accept him, that he died for you and he came because of you, you accept that love that he loved you with, and when you do that, he will be with you. And you will be justified, and not only justified, but you will be sanctified. And not only sanctified, you will be glorified when he comes the second time, when he comes with the angels, when he comes to redeem the saints, you will be part of those saints. I usually love this song, Oh, when the saints, oh. when the saints will be marching in, I wish and I pray that my name be there. My brethren, my sisters, let us commit ourselves to God. And let us know that God committed himself for us. And even today, by the way, God has not, is not done with us. Each and every day he sends his Holy Spirit to come and convict us of our sins so that we can repent and to convince us that he still loves us so that we can live in that love. May God bless you as you make this crucial decision to follow him and to accept the offer that he gave unto you. Remember John 3.16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. The only thing that you need to do is to love, uh, is to believe in what Jesus did in the offer that God is giving unto you today. And when you do that, he will accompany you and he will abide with you. And when he will come, when the Lord will be called up yonder, you will be part of the saints who will be led in the book of life. May God bless you and have a wonderful time. Shall we commit ourselves into prayer? And our prayer point today is that may we pray that God will continue illustrating his endless love into us. May he show us, may, may his loving character be um, uh, portrayed from us, that each and every day we will be showing and uh, proclaiming of how God, good God is, and we will be telling of his grace and of what he has done into our lives. And also let us pray for the church leadership so that they will continue leading the saints in he heavenward. And may God bless you as you pray for the ones who are affected by this pandemic of COVID-19. Those who have lost their jobs, those who have been infected, and those who have been uh, who are involved in direct uh, participation in um, solving this matter shall we humble ourselves in prayer our loving master in heaven 
we thank you for this day. Indeed, your love is so great. We thank you for everything that you have done unto us, even for the word that you have given unto us, that you are committed to see that we are saved. We ask that may you send to your Holy Spirit so that he can continue convincing us of how lovely you are. And Father, may you help us so that we can reciprocate the same love to the world. Jehovah God, we bring forth, I bring forth my dear viewer into the able throne. Remember my viewer. Remember the prayers that he or she has posted before the throne of grace. Remember the burdens that he has or she has in his heart. And Jehovah God, I pray that may you answer those prayers and may you relieve my viewer of those burdens that he or she is having. And Jehovah God, more than that, Father, continue preparing us for your second coming. Jehovah God, we know that your coming is very near. And as we see the unvarying things, uh, the varying situations um, brought about by this COVID-19, we believe that you are still on your throne. And we pray that may you take charge and Jehovah God, may you proclaim a hearing to those who are sick. May you protect the, those who are in forefront in the line to uh, take care of the patients who are affected by the COVID-19. And I pray that may you be with those who have lost their jobs, provide for them. Those who don't have uh, food, provide for them. Those who are affected by the frauds, Father, I pray that may you provi provide for them. And at the end of it all, Jehovah, glory and honor shall be back unto thee. May you continue being with us. May you continue sanctifying us. And may you continue preparing us for your second coming. It is in Jesus' name we have prayed and given thanks. Amen and amen.